Hello and welcome to BNC. So, we have a train, but how do you get the train on the tracks? Some people have tried to use the control method to try and lift it. You put the force on 100, but that doesn't even move the train. At least not upwards. You can freeze the points to this, but this is just not going to work. So, how do we get it on the tracks? Well, the best way, first take the car and drive it somewhere where um, you can put it on the track somewhere close to it. It doesn't have to be exact, but um, the closer you get to it, the better it is. So we just reverse it somewhere in here. All right, the more accurate it is, the better it is, but it doesn't have to be exact. So this is good enough, I would say. Uh, maybe move it just a little bit forward like this. Sometimes if you get lucky, then uh, you can get it straight on the tracks, but that's not what we are trying to do right now. So we select the train we want. We're going to put the race version, replace current. There we go. Let's see. No, I don't think it... Oops, it's too loud. Let's see if it's um, on the tracks. No, nah, not exactly, but uh, that's not what I was trying to do. So... You put the game in window mode, as you have noticed, mine already is in window mode, and then you press F11. That's going to open the vehicle editor, which is where we're going to do it. It's quite simple. I don't know why my freaking view doesn't move. That's quite annoying. All right, I fixed the camera. Uh, there was some conflict with the vehicle buttons, but anyway, it's best to pause the physics, whatever button you have it. Then you go somewhere in, uh, actually first you select the vehicle, you just click on that thing and then you go uh, closer to our tracks. You might want to lift it slightly, there we go, then we move it like this. Make sure, whoops, um, a little bit too fast but that's fine, you get the idea. I think the front wheels are fine, the rear ones are a little bit off, so we need to do... Um, in here we click on that one and then we want to rotate it slightly which one is it um okay uh let's see okay, the front ones are there rear ones are not so um it's very very difficult rotating it so you need to put it on the uh, freaking elder coordinates i'm trying to look at them right now it goes smaller this way so let's put um exactly 0.5 let's see where that goes yeah, I think that's actually fine. Let's uh, try to move it again. It is a little bit time-taking process, but this is the best way there is, unfortunately. Well, I think it's pretty much uh, as good as it goes. So let's try, let's unpause the game and see if it falls onto the tracks. Let's close the editor. Let's see what's going on. There we go. Yep, it's on the tracks now. And now what you can do is... Uh, Jesus Christ. Christ, it's loud. Press whatever button is, uh, I forgot what it is. Basically, what was it? Uh, recover vehicle. And just press it once, make sure you don't um, hold it or anything. And that's gonna put it exactly on the tracks. And now, you should be able to replace it with another train. I have my own uh, race version with right colors and stuff, so we're gonna load this one. And it should be on the tracks. Let's see if it works. Parking brake off, gear in. Whoops, what the heck was that? How did I stall that one? Uh, what happened? Is it stuck on it now? There we go. It got stuck a little bit on the tracks for some reason, but that's how it works, guys. And there you go. This is tur turbocharged train. It's really fast one, but um, enough of this. You can see that it works. It's uh, definitely on the tracks. Now it's also on fire, kind of. But this is how you get it on the tracks. The best way is to uh, find the tracks that are like straight. It's not always same on every map, so you might want to find you know perfect place for it. And also the reason why I put the car in there in here is to get the train more or less on the tracks because if you can get it like sideways and stuff for example like this train is see 
Then in the editor, you also have to adjust, you know, um, all the rotation and the, what is the um, tilt and all that to get it exactly, you know, same as the railway. So that's why it's always best to put another vehicle, drive it on the tracks as best as possible, replace it with the train and then use the editor and just fine adjust it, unpause it, release it and boom, you have a working train. I hope you find it useful and well, see you next time.